Uh, today we'll be uh, looking to uh, change the color background color of rocks filer as uh, shown here from white to dark. I prefer dark uh, uh, background so this is with a uh, uh, hidden uh, dot file showing and this is without uh, on a root uh, file file uh, folder level. I'll be using Fossa Pub 64 CE uh, dash 4. Uh, this is a recent uh, version of uh, Fossa Pub 64 and uh, I'll put a link to where you can download it. So the first thing we'll have to do is fire up uh, GIMP and uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So and then ideally what you want to do is uh, also uh, uh, new uh, screen and then uh, you want to know the uh, screen size of your display uh, uh, so what you may want to do is just uh, put in the uh, command of X render and then it should give you uh, a screen size 1920 by 1080 in my case so you want to make a, uh, a new image with a 19 by 20 1080 and then we're gonna say OK so we created that new image uh, normally you may, you'll get a uh, white background uh, but I got a black background so uh, what uh, and then uh, it's important just to uh, I think that for demonstration we'll get a, a gradient tool we'll go ahead and get that gradient tool activated and then uh, dark background and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, for foreground color will uh, pick a uh, rather dark background and then for a back that was foreground for the background we'll get a little lighter uh, uh, maybe perhaps with a little red mixed in and then we'll go ahead and give it an OK and then we're going to try to uh, create a gradient uh, within this so uh, it should look something similar to this where that there is a shade of red on one side and dark on the the other side and then I'll just go randomly what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just sort of go randomly from left to the right and then this is pretty close to what I uh, prefer so this is good and then let's see what uh, we want to do is save save this and then I think that export as is probably uh, good because we need to save it in a PNG format so save as and then we're gonna have to give it a rocks BG dot PNG and we want to put it in the uh, root folder so we'll go ahead and export and then uh, we'll just use the default setting export and then it's exporting and then uh, we'll take a brief look at the uh, uh, file itself and uh, so this is the file that we just created uh, using GIMP so here is the uh, uh, color so that all seems correct and we'll go back to the GIMP and then we'll close the GIMP and we don't need to save anything else okay so that's the first step so we're pretty much through with the GIMP now next thing we'll have to do is because the rocks uses uh, what's called a GTK2 uh, uh, two theme we would have to create another file it uh, it has a .gtkrc-2.0 uh, obviously here but we'll have to uh, create another file with a very similar name and then we can get a glimpse of exactly the name that it needs so we'll go ahead and open it up in uh, a genie and it's a 
dot r uh, gtk rc dash 2.0 exactly the same except it's going to it's going to add dot mine at the end so we'll go ahead and close this again and then uh, we'll click on this and uh, we'll start a uh, terminal emulator and uh, so what we want to do is go ahead and touch is a command that creates the file and we're in the root folder uh, that's where we wanna be so all we need to do is g.gtkrc dash 2.0 dot mine so that's the file we need to uh, create and we'll just we'll just load it up in genie so gtk rc 2.0 mine so that way we can kill two birds with one stone in effect and we'll go ahead and get the uh, uh, genie uh, started so here is the file uh, gtk rc 2.0 uh, mine so so uh, to make a little less uh, uh, confusing I've simplified the list here and then uh, this is the uh, exact uh, wording that it needs in uh, uh, mine uh, that we just created so I'm actually just cheating but uh, it it gives you uh, a chance to go ahead and uh, load up the uh, uh, rocksbg.png uh, 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 file that we created so we'll just cheat and then just simply copy this into mine and then save so at this time uh, if you reboot that it should get a dark uh, background rocks filer now we rebooted and let me start the rocks filer again so here is what the uh, background looks like there's a little hint of uh, a red as we wanted and uh, a much little dark on the uh, left upper uh, uh, side so now the next thing we need to do is we can we need to uh, change the color of the font so you can go ahead and right click on and then uh, go to the uh, options and go all the way down the colors and then uh, click on this so now I've actually uh, the default a yeah, color of these things are very dark so but I've go ahead and managed to just go ahead and click on one of these and then just change it to your preference as the in this case a folder color and and just apply and uh, the changes are fairly instantaneous so you do that for each um, a file top that you want to modify and then okay so then you get this.